Hi, everyone. Uh, thank you for joining us today on OP Digital Blueprint. And um, obviously, my colleague Red today, uh, Collins is unavailable. So um, hopefully, we'll see him next week. But uh, Red, say hi. And what would you like to start with today? Oh, he looks like he's frozen. Oh, there he is. Yeah, I'm a little bit. Yeah, I'm back. Don't worry. We've got a dodgy internet tonight for some reason. Oh, dear. <laughs> anyway, over to you, Red. Okay, well, welcome, everyone. Good to be here once again. And, uh, oh, dear, my internet is all over the place, isn't it? There you go. Hopefully that's okay. Just... It's it is a little bit slow today, Red. Yeah, yeah. Just you, talk a minute. I'm just going to switch over onto a different internet, mate. Okay, no problem. Um, obviously, guys, we uh, we some of us we did heroes on Sunday, and um, uh, we discussed many things, including about the OES and how things are progressing what's going on with it, what you can and what you can't do. The object of the exercise at the moment, guys, is really just to make sure that you can get in there, have a good look round. Um, some of the stuff is not uh, uh, not accessible. Don't worry about it. Uh, you may find that the details are incorrect, things like address. My address has been changed. In fact, all of my accounts say become a, uh, an affiliate, so it is not noted um or, or brought that forward as yet but don't worry about this this is all being dealt with in the background um and um as it moves forward more and more things are going to come in uh, into into play and we're going to see more and more additions being added on and 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 buttons becoming live etc cetera, etc cetera. so are you sorted red what would you like I to tell so, us mate. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, I know. Uh, let's just touch on uh, what Andy's been talking about the OES before we move on to uh, another topic. And um, he was saying he was saying about uh, details not being correct. Uh, I'm one of those guys that my profile on my main account isn't correct. In fact, it's all blank. Uh, I'm not worried whatsoever. I know that uh, all of this will be sorted. So don't forget, we do know that the uh, support network is not in action at the moment. So there is no way of contacting them. Uh, people have said, well, why haven't we got support at the moment? So, which is a, a fair point to ask. And it, the reason is, is it gives the people uh, more focus to get sorted what they need to sort out. Now, people are saying, yeah, but I can't do this in my OES and this is not right and all the rest of it. Right, here is my opinion. And it is only my opinion. This is nothing official from on passive or anything like that. Uh, but this is reading between the lines of what Ash Mufaro was saying um, on the various webinars he's been on uh, prior to us getting the OES back. He has told us that having the OES back is not part of the second phase, okay? we There is a second phase that we don't know anything about yet. He's told us it's going to blow us away. We're going to be uh, more than happy with it. We're going to be so over the moon and chuffed with what we're going to get. But he needed to have a safe environment where he can give us the information from corporate that he needs to. This is why they have put the OES back up to a certain content extent of what we were used to and saw before so that we can access our accounts, we can look at our teams, and we can also look at our wallets. Now, for some, that information is not quite correct. For others, it's absolutely fantastic and people can log in. Some people can't log in, all of the rest of it. My opinion is that this is just a holding area. OK, I'm sure that whatever they're working on is external to the OES. Does this mean that we're not going to get another OES type of place? I don't know. Uh, we probably will. We might get something completely different. I don't know. But he wanted to have a place where he can put up the updates area 
so that we all get the same information. Now, this is a really big point for everybody, uh, wherever you are, whatever nationality you are. And also one of the reasons why, if you've noticed, I'm putting a lot of my content and Marty's content with Hindi subtitles back onto my channel after it's been rendered so that everyone gets the right message. There needs to be no um, extension of the truth, okay? I've seen already people saying new OES coming, talks of amount you're going to earn, an income, uh, all these sort of things. Well, we need to be extremely careful with what we are saying, okay? And this is the reason why our CEO has opened up the OES so he can converse with us, give us the information from corporate as it should be, rather than coming on 360 or going to another webinar and people interpreting it incorrectly and causing all sorts of problems. And he's said it many times, hasn't he, that some of the problems that he's incurred over the last couple of years or so have obviously been external people internally, but also the founders. And this does worry me a little bit that why we can't uh, back our CEO rather than trying to jeopardize and hinder him. So my opinion is the OES at the moment is they've got it to a stage where we can get in, we can look at it, they've opened the doors, they can give us the information and tell us exactly the steps that are going to be needed to move into the next phase, phase two, whatever you want to call it, whatever it's going to be called. That is my opinion. Now, I might be right off the mark. I might be completely wrong, but that is my gut feeling of why and where we are at the moment. So if there is people out there saying, yeah, we're going to have a brand new OES, you don't know that. I don't know that. OK, so let's keep to the truth. Let's stick to what we do know. And what we do know is there is a phase two and we are going to go on to that. This brings me back to the support question when he said there is not going to be any more support at the moment. OK, whilst we're in this transitional period. Why? Because he needs as many hands on deck to take us to the next phase rather than focusing on fixing something that I don't know, but we might not even be using, i.e. the existing OES as we see it. There really is, if it is just a holding area, which is what I believe it is, and we're moving on to something else, why spend time fixing, adjusting, rejigging something that is going to be US at the end of the day, because we're going to move to another platform. Why not spend as much of the resources that he has on building and taking us to the phase two rather than revisiting something that is going to be archaic in real terms compared to what we are going to see in the next phase? That is my opinion. I might be completely wrong, like I said, but it, it's got all of that feeling, hasn't it? You know, it makes a lot of sense to me that that is what is happening. And hopefully it does to you guys. Now, I was also uh, talking today about individuality. And the reason I brought this up is, is because I think it's really important for everybody to know that the strength of on passive core membership and founders, whatever you want to call us all, is because of our individuality and our belief in this business. Now, if we were just all sheeple, we would have probably all gone away a long time ago because we would have followed the crowd of the probably tens, hundreds of people who are going, you're absolutely crazy. What are you doing? Can't you see blah, blah, blah and all the rest of it. But because we are a bunch of individuals that have our own minds, that we are our own entity, that we make up our own decisions. We have decided we're sticking with this. We're seeing it through because we believe in what is trying to be done here as far as a business is concerned. It really is breaking that mold of the norm of what happens online. 
I'm I am the same as all of you out there. I've had uh, family, relatives, friends, all telling me I'm completely crazy. Can't you see it, Red? You're getting taken for a ride. Blah blah blah. Well, that's absolutely fine. But I'm an individual. I have got my own mind, and I'm here to stay. I want to see this through, and this is why I take no notice of what has been said what the advice and I like the way that they always say that I'm going to give you a bit of friendly advice they all say friendly advice I'm your friend so I'm going to give you some of my friendly advice on something you know absolutely nothing about but it's friendly advice and I should be trusting what my friend is saying rather than using my intuition my belief my faith in this process that we are in at the moment. And this is why I was talking today about individuality, that I think it is our strength as a core unit within on passive that we have so many individuals who are who have got their own mind. But the one thing that is collective of all of us is our belief in Ash Mufara and the business and what we are trying to achieve. This is exactly why we will succeed. So many people fail to realize that staying the course is way up there with a percentage of people who succeed in business. The ones that give up, guess what? If you give up, you're never going to succeed. But if you stay there and you stay and you hang on to your belief the business is still here, hasn't gone anywhere. We haven't folded. So why would you leave? Why not hang in there and see it all the way through? That's it for now. Over to you, Andy. Thanks. Thanks, Red. Uh, this is a very important point, I think, guys, because um, I, I'm in the same boat as Red. I've got lots of lots of friends and, and they all kind of say the same thing. Why are you still in? What What's, you know, what what's going on? We just want to make sure you're okay. I love that. I think that's brilliant, <laughs> right? But, <clears throat> but um, uh, why would you? It's like it's like following a leader or following a loser. You can follow a loser; they're never going to get anywhere. Follow a leader, and you're going to go places. You know, when when we worked in the industry before, if you mentor or you had a mentor that was was very very good at his job and you learn and sat with them and, and listen to what they had to say, you emulate that, then you become successful yourself. Now, you know, we all are, and we all have this uh, sense of, um, what would you call it, where you've listened to Ash Mufara and you've heard what he has to say and you believe strongly in what he has to say. Uh, and you agree with everything he has to say and the way it's said. So if you have that, as, as Red said, core belief, then why would you go anywhere? Now, there are lots of other things on the internet that we've seen that are uh, constantly slating what's going on. But I, this OES, and I agree with your opinion, Red. I think that's, that's a great opinion, uh, whether it's right or not don't know but i think you're right i think what they've done is brought back the 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 um oas and moving forward there could be something totally different because bearing in mind as long as you have that source code and this is what collins was talking about the other day the source code and it's such a coup to be able to have re recovered that source code so you have all of the details and you just need to be put back into place um and as we've said before it's like uh, moving it back from where it has been stored before with Amazon Web Services is like moving from Microsoft to Mac. It They're not compatible, so the difficulty is exactly that. Whereas what's actually happened is the foundations have been built and stored on our own servers. So we have that, that main um, uh, foundation, which is a kilometer wide and a kilometer deep, so we can go to the moon. It's the, the, the actual data itself uh, from the use of those products that we've had that's been stored. So 
when you think about it, we've got that information back. It's the conversion from Microsoft to Mac, um, and that may take a little bit of time. But in the meantime, what we've got is we've got the foundation fully in place and in and under our control, and therefore it's now being built on the same as it was before. So I I, I think I agree with that. I I my opinion is the same as yours, Red, and I think that's quite important. But moreover what you need you guys need to do is to make sure that you tell every single person that you know that is an early bird or has a position or or you know became an affiliate or even just signed up let them know what's going on i'm constantly being bombarded by phone calls at five in the morning <laughs> um by people that are asking the same question when's the oes up look in the back office, look at the OES. The details um, are, are clear. We've got info there. Read it, read it, understand what's going on, and then we're, we're, we're great. But as I've said before, this is the perfect time. We, we've got time. Everything will come, but this is the perfect time to plan what you're going to do and how you're going to make your business grow. Now, we have the... the um, the talk about um, traffic we don't know when that will come so what other alternatives can you think of that you could build your business before that opportunity becomes available to you so and and, and this is the core of any business planning proper planning um, and comfort loves my uh, my little saying proper prior planning prints piss poor performance yeah, poor performance. Um, so, so use it to the best of your ability. Um, uh, as you well know, I'm a great one for writing lists. So I've got lists coming out of my ears. But that's not everybody's cup of tea. And it's finding what, what interests you, finding a way that you can think of to be able to spread the word, whether it's just simply through Facebook or fake book um, or TikTok or Instagram or any of these other media sources um, and learn a little bit yourself about marketing. I, I know nothing about marketing, but I I know a lot more than I did four years ago. And I don't know anything about software and the programs and anything else, but I know roughly how they work. And I know a little bit more about how I can actually explain that to other people. Now, whether that's simply in a post or whether I email them or whether I, um, you know, set up uh, O-Connect webinars at some point and bring people along to explain, it doesn't matter. It's whatever you are comfortable with about building your own business. And it's up to you because this is your own business. You know, I, I, I got uh, a message the other day saying, when, when OES open, expecting 50,000 from day one sorry uh no that's not how it works guys um we have a, a core element of of affiliates that have signed and originally paid for oconnect and that was just over a million so basically we have a million customers so the object of the exercise is we've got six billion odd internet users and we've got six billion people that we could potentially talk to when things go into the next phase and therefore um i'm not bothered about answering these stupid questions you have to build your business it's not going to give you an instant success it could take you three years it could take you five years it could take you 10 years it's entirely up to you because at the end of the day, this is your business. So if you plan properly um, and effectively, then you can reduce this time frame down to what suits you. I don't know about you, but I don't like work. So I want to retire sooner rather than later. I'm not lazy. I just don't like having to work. <laughs> so, so, you know, if I can plan it properly and it works the way it should do, and we, we we anticipate it doing then then um, uh, you know six months hard graft and you probably could achieve the level that you want to achieve whether that be two thousand ten thousand twenty thousand it's entirely up to you back to you red 
Yeah, it's an interesting point, isn't it, uh, Andy? That I, w- I will say one thing uh, about uh, working your business and people saying, I thought it was all going to be automated and hands-free. Yeah, all that's still going to be in place, guys. There is going to be a huge element of on passive that is going to help every single one of us to a certain d- degree. But also, as Andy has said, um, that you know, if you want to accelerate where you want to get to, then you have to do something. But it, it, it's an interesting uh process isn't it about working hard on your online business people are very uh happy i wouldn't say they're happy but they are certainly indoctrinated and uh programmed to work for 30 40 years and then retire after they've worked for 30 or 40 years in a job and be happy with their lot but so many people find it extremely difficult to actually work as hard as they do in a job for themselves online for a very much shorter period of time to actually get to their success level of where they want to be. You know, I know one thing, I'd, I would rather work 24-7 every single day for three years if I know that I'm going to get to my retirement and financial future success point in three years than spend and waste 30 years to get to a place where I'm getting a very small pension that's not going to facilitate the needs there of where I want to be. And this is really why I'm certainly going to be one of the people that when we get moving and the money starts flowing in both directions, remember, you know, that the whole simplicity of on passive is something that everybody can understand. You purchase the products that are within the ecosystem, you resell them, you make a commission, and on top of that, there's various bonuses uh, that are gonna be in place as far as sales volumes within your organization. It makes very easy understanding of how business works. If you know, if you do anything in life, you know that if somebody sells something, they're doing it for a profit and that profit goes to the company, the business, individuals, whatever it is. Exactly the same with on passive. They're digital products and services. We've also got going to have physical ones as well and lots of other things as well. And so the ability for us to make a decent income through on passive is there. And Also, this is what I was going on about this today as well, is one of the things that actually excited me and drew me to on passive in those very, very early days was the ability for anywhere, anybody, anywhere without qualifications, creed, colour, religion, what you look like and all the rest of it across the globe to be able to have the same fair shot at making money online with on passive. There's no quick way in. There's no paying your way up the ladder uh, buying a team or buying more stuff that's going to sell more stuff. No, no, that's not how it works in on passive at all. Everybody starts exactly the same place with the same tools, services that everybody else has as well. And it's up to you of how far you want to take it. But the opportunity is there. And that's what I loved about it. You know, it is that that opportunity is as good for me as it's good for Andy. It's as good for anybody else out there at all. It's up to you of how you embrace it, how you look at it, how you research it, how you use all of the services, products, tools, and how you leverage it to the best of your ability to make a very successful online business. Mark my words, there is going to be millionaires made from on passive. I sincerely hope I'm one of them, to be absolutely honest. You know, I'm not going to shy away from that. You know, I want to be in a financial situation where I know my family is sorted and then I can go out into the world and do the things that I want to do as well. But I'm certainly going to make sure that I am sorted first and I'm going to do everything within my personal ability and power to get me to my goal of where I want to be. Back to you, Andy. This is, this is a great point. And I want to cover this because um, having been a financial advisor for many years, many years, um, 
people put away or, or uh, you know, put part of their earnings away into a into some form of savings schemes, whether it's a, a pension and a company pension, a savings plan, or whatever it might be, to build up a pot of cash, right? And from that pot of cash, they then take an income from it. So it's the average in the UK we know is very low, and it actually works out that the average pot is something like sixty thousand, which is less than a hundred thousand dollars. I think it's about ninety five thousand dollars. So, so that provides an income of three grand a year plus the old age pension, which the the um, the government want to continue to reduce, um, uh, and we won't go into the politics today. But that is eleven thousand. It, it it works out about thirteen thousand. So it's it's just over a thousand a month. So twelve hundred and fifty odd dollars a month. Now I don't know about you, but uh, but I couldn't survive on that. I cannot survive on that. There are so many things that I would like to be able to do. So what is the goal? Now, <clears throat> instead of building up a pot uh, to be able to, to draw from, uh, invest and draw from at a later date, if you have a system like on Passive where um, it allows you to be able to build a residual income based upon some of the products, not all of them, we know some of the products will be monthly contributions and therefore create and will create a, a monthly income from those from those contributions so if if you work it backwards if you said that each customer is likely to give you five dollars for argument's sake right and i want five thousand a month i need a thousand customers where am i going to find them from now as i said we've got six billion plus customers to go at to speak to to provide for and 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 therefore the opportunity is open to absolutely everybody yeah it's your choice whether you do that now as red quite rightly said the company will do the vast majority of things for us but i just simply want to get there sooner rather than later i'm not getting any younger as neither is red we both got gray beards look <laughs> Um, at, at, at the end of the day, I want to be able to enjoy retirement and not continue to work. So bottom line is, what do I have to do? I have to sit down and work out a plan. Simple as, simple as. Any final thoughts, Red? No, uh, great advice, as always, Andy. You know, I mean, when we talk about this, it's always very invigorating for myself once again to you know, really help me focus on what I'm going to do and think, you know, think about it, write it down, give myself some bullet points of my action bullet points of what I'm going to do. I mean, I, I have been very cautious in where I'm promoting and what I'm doing uh, because I don't want to burn too many bridges uh, where it is. But if people think, I can't do it because everyone's heard of on passive and all the rest of it. I'll give you an example, right? Wherever you are in the globe right now, right? Next time you go to your local shopping center, shopping mall, wherever it may be, or you go to a concert, you go to the football, you go to any sporting event or wherever it is that is going to be a few thousand people, okay? You walk in there and you have a look around and just sort of have a think, how many people here know about on passive? If there's five, you're lucky in 10,000 or 20,000 or 50,000. If there's five, that's probably all there is. And that is the reality. We all know about on passive because we've been around on passive for a very long time. We live, breathe, talk on passive because that's our passion. It's what we believe in. It's what we want to do. But I can tell you now, the vast majority of people know nothing about it. Nothing. Even out of the three million people who have become customers, affiliates or founders that we know about, even if you triple, quadruple, times that by 10 of other people who have said no and haven't signed up, it's such a small drop in the ocean, really, isn't it? Even if you times that by 10, that's only 30 million. You know, I mean, there's 6 billion to go for, which is just so many more people. So make a plan, 
if you want to get to your financial success place at a quicker rate. That's what we're saying. We're not saying you've got to do it by any means. We're not saying for you to be successful, you have to do what we're saying. What we're saying is if you want to get there quicker, roll your sleeves up, have a plan, be proactive in your own business. And that is really the bottom line. Back to you, Andy. Thanks. If you think about it, if we've got a million, it is point zero 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 one six six uh, of a percent of the population that has access to the internet. So I think even if we would get to one percent, you can find five thousand customers or a thousand customers. Five grand a month is is you know five times more than the average pension. And and just to excite you a little bit more as well, Andy's five dollars is on a thousand people buying one product, right, a month at five bucks. We're gonna have 10, 20, 30, 40, I don't know how many different products we're going to have. So that five dollars for that one product, you're then gonna have Another thousand people buying another product. Let's just say that one's at five dollars as well. And then the next one has at five dollars as well. So your five grand a month suddenly turns into 15 grand a month. And you're only using the same base of users that you had before, because there's going to be things within the ecosystem or whatever system we've got that people are going to say, I want that one, don't want that, don't want that. Oh, I like that. I'm going to have that one and use that. Don't want to use that one because it's not good for me. Uh, I, but I'll have that one as well. And that's how it's going to build up over a period of time. And all the time when you're doing this, you're earning money. And it means that you can then go out there and tell people about on passive. The biggest, biggest arsenal you're going to have when these get going is knowing you are earning money from on passive because it's physically happened to you. You are going to have this aura about you because you know it's true. You know that it works. It says what it does on the tin. Somebody joins, you make a commission, it comes back to you. But blah de blah. When you approach people, they are going to say, "How did you buy that?" On passive, paid for it. Yeah, but that costs a lot, doesn't it? Yeah, but I did that through what I do on passive. Don't you think they're going to be a little bit interested? I do. Back to you, Andy. Yeah, yeah that's a great one. I mean, I, this, this is, <laughs> you know, think of a list of things that you would love to have in life. Don't put a cost to them. Think of a list of things that you would love to have in life. And and as as Red said, the, the problem is, and I'm going to call it a problem because, listen, guys, it's not going to stay static. It's going to grow. And, and, and there's nothing I can do about that. I'm sorry, but it's going to grow. No matter what you do, it's going to grow. Now, <laughs> and that's a real shame, eh, guys? I mean, put it this way, with a 1,000 customers and, and 50 different products, how many of those thousand customers are going to use five products, ten products? Some are going to, uh, you, you know, create a one-off annual payment uh, or annual commission, and some are going to create a, a monthly commission. It doesn't really matter. The fact of the matter is, you cannot stop it from growing. But just think, if you had ten thousand customers, just think if you had twenty thousand customers, what would your income be, and how many of those things on your list? of things that you'd love to have or things that you'd love to do, you could have. Now, I wish I was 30-odd years old and not my age right now because I'll tell you what, my list is longer than Red's <laughs> and a lot more expensive. But anyway, proper prior planning prevents poor performance. Make sure you make use of it as best you possibly can. Thanks for joining us, guys, and we'll see you again next week. Yeah, thanks a lot, guys. Great chat. Cheers.